Good morning, you guys. Today's question is, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Let's see what Hank Hanegraaff has to say. This is perhaps the most common question Christian celebrities are asked to answer on shows such as Larry King Live. Have you ever seen Larry King Live? All right. At first blush, it may seem as though there are as many responses as there are religions. In reality, however, there are only three basic answers, namely pantheism, philosophical naturalism, and theism. Let's see what he means by those. Pantheism denies the existence of good and evil because in this view, God is all and all is God. In other words, God doesn't allow bad things to happen to good people because there is no bad or good. There's just God. Philosophical naturalism, the worldview undergirding evolutionism, and by this he means macroevolution, large changes over time, as opposed to microevolution, which is small changes over time. Philosophical naturalism supposes that everything is a function of random processes. Thus, there is no such thing as good and evil on this view either. Theism alone has a relevant response, and only Christian theism, as opposed to, say, Islamic theism, can answer the question satisfactorily. First, Christian theism acknowledges that God created the potential for evil because God created humans with freedom of choice. We choose to love or hate, to do good or evil. So, freedom of the will is a good, but in it has the potential to choose other than God. The record of history bears eloquent testimony to the fact that humans of their own free will have actualized the reality of evil through such choices. Furthermore, without choice, love is meaningless. God is neither a cosmic rapist who forces his love on people, nor a cosmic puppeteer who forces people to love him. Instead, God, the personification of love, grants us the freedom of choice. Without such freedom, we would be little more than pre-programmed robots. Finally, the fact that God created the potential for evil by granting us freedom of choice ultimately will lead to the best of all possible worlds, a world in which, quote, there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, end quote. Revelation 21.4 Those who choose Christ will be redeemed from evil by his goodness and will forever be able not to sin. For further studies, see Johnny Erickson Tana, When God Weeps, and Lee Strobel, Case for Faith, Chapter 1. I would also add Dr. Geisler, Norm Geisler, If God, Why Evil, I think is the title of that. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. See ya.